A member of the Satanic Temple of Iowa spoke out today after part of their holiday display was vandalized. Investigators say a man from Mississippi damaged the display. Good afternoon, I'm Janae Town. I'm Erin Kiernan. and thanks for being with us this Friday. That man is now facing charges. WHO 13's Roger Riley is back at the State House today for more reactions surrounding this display. Yeah, Aaron, you know, I'm, uh, the Satanic Temple display uh, was scheduled to come down today, but so far it's staying after the vandalism yesterday. Now, on the uh, Criminal Act, on December 14th, the Iowa State Patrol was dispatched to the state capitol on a vandalism report involving the Iowa Satanic Satanic Temple's Baphomet display. Now, as a result of the investigation and in consultation with Polk County Attorney's Office, 35-year-old Michael Cassidy of Lauderdale, Mississippi, was charged with criminal mischief in the fourth degree. Christ is Savior, Christ is King, Christ will come again. Now, the same guy who was here Tuesday was still here reading scripture and praying to Catholic saints. The Baphomet statue is gone, a Christ is Lord sticker was placed on this display. The broken parts are taken away, leaving the table and candles. I had a chance today to interview a man who goes by Mortimer Adremelech, who is a minister of the Satanic Temple in Iowa, though he's speaking for himself and not for the temple. Our display was a group effort, but I made the head of the Baphomet. Baphomet is a symbol of religious pluralism. The freedom of religion is granted to all Americans under the First Amendment, including Satanists. Our state motto is, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain, and that means a lot to me. All religions have equal rights in the public forum under the First Amendment of the Constitution as Americans. We have every right to be here just like anyone else. Thank you so much to everyone who has come out to support us. I really appreciate it. Now, Dremelik said on Facebook, uh, there will be a closing ceremony Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Capitol for that display. He's also started a GoFundMe page to raise money for a new display next year and also to compete with the, uh, there's a GoFundMe started for the guy who is charging the vandalism, so there's a little competition going on there. And also, I got to make an apology for something here. The man praying those Catholic prayers and scripture, He's not with the Satanic Temple. Uh, he wasn't, uh, basically, he wasn't talking to anyone or interacting, so we didn't know when we were here Tuesday who he was with, but today it was obvious he's, he's praying to Catholic saints and to Christ and reading scripture, so I just want to set the record straight uh, who that guy was, even though he wouldn't talk to me or acknowledge it, anybody that's trying to talk to him. Well, there have been a, a lot of moving pieces and a lot of people involved in all of this, so thanks for keeping us up to date with the very latest chapter in this ongoing saga. Thanks, Roger.